Right. We arrive at the Skyview Temple. I have most of this dungeon going about twice as fast as normal. Make it a little less boring. But you can still hear all the sounds and stuff. That's So you kind of continue down this little path here. And you, you cut these trees down at the end and climb the vine after shooting this plant creature. And killing him, hopefully. And you hit the switch and open the door. So to unlock one of these eyeballs, you just stand there and kind of rotate your sword around while facing it. And eventually it should spin out of control and drop. So you come into this main room, kill that guy, shoot that switch. Open the door. You don't really have to kill this guy. But I went ahead and killed him anyway. You, you have to slice to the side and then stab. You do like a stabbing motion on the center of the spider. And now, actually, you're supposed to go... You're supposed to stay in this room, but I forgot temporarily. And then you go down here and go through the crawl space and then shoot the switch. Go back to the main room, and then you find a switch under the door. <laughs> and then you go through that door. I gotta shoot these two vines here. This plant was really tough. You stab a couple times without hurting yourself somehow. And you kinda turn and you'll see another switch to shoot. But I, I forgot that, so I went out and grabbed the map. Dun, dun, dun. Anyway, you go back into that room you were just in, and there's a switch that's pretty obvious. Here's a switch, right between the two vines. Now you gotta run across this log here and climb up the vines to go to the other part of this other room over here where you can get a key. Make these two eyeballs dizzy first. So 
we go back to the main room and go to this next large room, which is the giant roundish room. Yeah, I've got to clear out the enemies. Right in front of where you came in, there's a switch. Just above that door. You go in there and you fight a Stalfos. It's a pretty tough enemy. You just gotta... You know, be patient with your sword and make sure you hit him at the right angle. He can block in two different directions. So it's pretty difficult. Unless you have patience. For killing him, you get a beetle. I bet in the next dungeon we'll get a beach boy. So, to get out of here, you just gotta shoot your beetle outside. And then hit the same switch that you hit before. heart piece here you can get pretty easily. You just shoot up your beetle. Um, and it's kind of at the top of the, uh, of the level, like the, the middle cylindrical structure. There's a small compartment on the top. And I'm not going to get it this time, but you see where it is. Pretty easy if you point directly at it. And there you go. this door over here, you shoot the beetle inside this little compartment way, directly above it. And then after that you get confused and run around the entire place, and then you eventually make it to the right door. It's the one right next to the save statue. this crate down with your beetle and then you can push it towards the middle because your goal is to be able to have all three eyeballs looking at you and there you go the sweet spot and then you grab the key from in that chest You gotta hit the switch over here to make the water level rise. Mm. 
And you also have to use a beetle again to cut down these spider webs. I'm sure there's an easier way, I just don't know what it would be. I think I tried to use my sword and it didn't work. simple task. Just don't want him to hit you and knock you down. Now one trick with this is to just waggle your Wii controller back and forth to help balance instead of trying to hold it in one place. This thing is pretty tough. You just you have to slice all three heads off at once. Just uh, give it a few tries. It's pretty pretty easy after a while. I was looking for secrets. Now, to kill this spider, it's pretty satisfying. You just um, cut that thread with your beetle. <laughs> Stupid spider. You can hit this switch to make a shortcut for you later. And you gotta walk across this tightrope here. So lure the other guy over and he'll call his friend right before your beetle hits him. on these vines, it's pretty hard to make the jump, but you don't actually lose hearts if you fall, so it's probably no big deal. The trick, I think, is to go all the way to the bottom and get a couple good swings in. At least with the first one. And you got the carving, which is great. Carving in the hole, and you are granted access to the boss fight. And I did the boss fight at um, normal speed, just so you guys know how awesome I am. Basically, the trick is to um, hold your sword to one side and then slowly move it over and then slice him from the other direction. I guess not really slowly, but... quick enough, but not... 
not so quick that you actually slice him. Because I guess the idea is to trick him with the mm. Wii Remote Plus. See, I'm kind of holding my sword out to the right and switching it over quickly. And then hitting it from the other side. This is about 10 or 15 times. Should be able to get him to his second form. charge you, but spin right when he arrives. You should be able to get a few good hits on him. And his other move is teleporting. Which is pretty annoying because you have about half a second to decide which way he's going to attack you. He also shoots these things, but I don't think I've had one of them hit me yet. When he teleports, you're gonna have to decide where he's gonna go in the room and make a decision pretty quick. And there you go. Yeah, blah blah blah, buddy. So now you go through this doorway and you get another piece of the map. Um, <clears throat> this allows you to travel elsewhere in the world. So I think this is where I'm going to leave you guys. Remember to subscribe to my channel, uh, visit my website, zeldaskywardsword.com, with hyphens. If you don't know what the website is, just look on the bottom of the video that you're watching right now. Also in the description, there's probably links to... And uh, I hope you visit my website and subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys later.